We're here in Dublin Castle where the results are being sent up from around constituencies across the country in the abortion referendum and they're pretty clear what the result is, an absolutely resounding yes, a landslide, potentially as many as 7 in 10 people in the country voting to repeal the 8th Amendment for the Constitution. We've seen Ireland across the country vote in a compassionate way and I'm feeling a great sense of relief, and not relief for myself but relief for the women, the, the women behind me who are wanting to know, you know, if I found myself in a crisis of pregnancy, what could be done to mind me and support me in my own country. The Constitution is the people's tool. They've made their decision. They've made it in a very decisive and clear manner. I think it's a wonderful day. Yeah, I'm very proud of all of them. You know, the young women now uh, can have this rather sad procedure, but they can have it in the company of their family and friends rather than exporting them callously and cruelly. Uh, I'm feeling very emotional. Um, and I'm feeling great gratitude to the women of Ireland, especially those who came forward to give personal testimony of the trauma and shame and distress that they experienced in crisis pregnancy. When you, you look at the margin that we saw in the end, did you ever imagine? I did not. But I would like to. We could just hear the people here. Exactly. This campaign was the project of uh, women in particular, but their families, their stories, their experiences, they drove this. They have given the clearest, clearest message to government and to all of us as legislators that we have to now go and do our piece. So I'll now go to government on Tuesday, uh, seeking permission to draft the legislation, ask my officials to work on it over the summer, with a view to introducing it into the Oireachtas in the autumn. The people have spoken, <laughs> and they're saying, but this is a country in which we trust women and respect their choices. And thank you so much for making the day possible. Thank you. Under the Eighth Amendment, we said to women in crisis, take the boat or take the plane. Today we say, take our 